Good morning, hello, and welcome back to Talking Planning. I'm just hightailing it over now to the South Bay Ferry Terminal because up in the distance, I've spotted the last ferry that I need to complete my collection of all four types. It's just pulling into QT Gardens Point ahead now, so I should make it quite easily. So you've already seen me catch the brand new ferry, the first gen and the second gen. So this is the third gen, just to fill in the gaps. And it's heading over to West End, so come and join me for the ride. This is Talking Planning. As you can see, you're now actually allowed to bring man's best friend on board, which is pretty neat. Today's ferry ride is on board NADA, which is one of the other third generation class ferries here and it's been wrapped in a special livery and it looks really nice I think. Distinguished from the second generation ferries only by their square headlights, these third generation ferries are much more of just a simple evolution of the previous design. Much like the second generation ferries, they are also built by Norman R. Wright and & Sons and use a Cummins QSM11, which is a variation upon a theme. But once you go inside, you'll notice a few more differences than just a pair of square headlights in place of the round ones. For starters, if you need to use the bathroom, handily enough, there is a second one available, which is not wheelchair accessible, but gives you an extra place to go if you need those facilities. You'll also find that there's bike racks at the rear of the vessel, and up the front, there's a much more uncluttered area so that you can stand at the front of the vessel and look out over the lovely views of Brisbane. And if you really, really want, you could probably reenact that scene out of a maritime movie we shall not mention at this point in time. Inside of the vessel, it's much of a muchness, very similar to the second generation ferry with seats. However, instead of being trimmed in the same fabric as the MAN buses, they also use a council motif, which is well known if you're familiar with traveling on current Brisbane transport buses. Outside, you'll find the same mix of marine grade vinyl seating and plastic chairs. And the third generation ferry is very much consistent with the second generation ferry. 
But overall, it's a nice ride, it's a pleasant place to be, and it's a great way to see Brisbane. So now that we are at West End, and now that I've shown you all four generations of CityCat, the first gen, second gen, third gen, and fourth gen, where do we go from here? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Obviously the ferries are something we've got to check out, but what are we going to do in the meantime whilst we're waiting for most of those city ferries to come back? Well, the good news is the CityCats are not the only passenger ferries in South East Queensland, so there's a few others that I've taken the liberty to start checking out and you'll see those on this channel shortly so stay tuned thanks for joining me on talking planning and see you again soon on talking planning we will now be releasing two videos a week for you to enjoy on tuesdays come and join me for the classic transport reviews and on saturday keep your eye out for a general more talkback feel show with a little bit more depth and investigation covering often some really interesting and diverse topics Come and join me on Talking Planning for more.